So the prettiest beach that I have been to, um, Everybody say hi. Say hi to Crystal Shakan. My term of endearment for Crystal, I'll be like, hey, chicken. <laughs> That's why my niece said something about chicken, because you always call me chicken, and she confused what I cook. <laughs> chicken, 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 chicken. Start as a company. Chicken, 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 chicken. No, I told you I hate this middle name. Nah, it's dope. I like it. It's a name. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So let's uh they wanna know why you why you don't like your middle name. Because it came from Shaka Khan. You don't so, like Shaka Khan? I like Shaka Khan, but Crystal Shaka Khan, it used to my name was Crystal Shaka it would have been Crystal Shaka Khan Washington. Um that was too much. That was too much. So it it was shortened because my mother wasn't going for the whole Shaka Khan thing, so we have Shakan. It's just oh. too, I guess too too unique. Hi, Kia. Mm. What's up, Kia? Shout out to the Philippines. I am yes. Jesse zero seven one six. Welcome Fly to me the out. show. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Got some Philippine, got some Philippine love up in this joint tonight. I've never been so, to the Philippines. You ain't been there yet. Okay, we can talk about it. Not yet. Um, let me do my intro for the YouTube cut. Kizza is a is a I'm super tired. I can say that now because that's not gonna be on the YouTube edit. Okay. And then we'll jump right in. What you drinking? I'm on the island. You on the island? Okay. All right. Cool. 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 All right. Welcome back to the show, y'all. Tonight we got my girl, my family, my sister in law, but sister to me, Crystal Shakan, world traveler. Great chef, great family member and friend. Welcome to the show. Before we jump into it, tonight's show is brought to you by Batch. Go to B-A-M-M-L-L-C dot net forward slash shop batch for all your clothing, apparel, and accessory needs. Crystal, what's up with you, baby? Not much, not much. I'm hanging. That's, hanging that's better around. than not hanging. I guess. I take it. Mm. No, no complaints. So you are you you enjoy traveling. This I, I know. Do. Okay. So what was your first experience with traveling? Or what was the first thing that made you be like, oh yeah, like I'm with this? Um, I don't know if it's because my fa my favorite color is turquoise. So turquoise, blue water. Um, and I think for me, oh thanks. Turquoise shirt, didn't peep that. Good job, bro. <laughs> yeah, she made she made um, me wear. She said I like the turquoise shirt. I wore it last week, but okay, that's neither here nor there. Oh, I didn't know you wore it last week. My bad. I don't care what people say about me. It's clean. It's clean. Wash machines work. Wash machines yeah, work. They work. Um. So turquoise is my favorite color, and the, I the color with the water and the serene. When I'm near water, I notice a sense of peace that I have when near the I don't know about anybody else but I love to be at peace and that's where, where I find the most peace is near water mm. clean water clean I was going to add you know that was my next clean. question because like, I, I, know you does. I, know you. I know you I know you I know you too well clean water and that clean clean water not this murky brown ocean city you know, water that we have here. I need that pretty blue water. Even if, I, and the crazy part, I'm not even a beach person. I'll stay at the pool uh, at a hotel. But if I can look out of my window and see it, I am at peace. Do you know what it what it is about the water that, that puts you at peace? I don't know if it's the sound. Um, and to be honest, you know, Sometimes um, when I go to sleep, my husband will play Sounds of the Ocean. 
because I believe he he understands that that keeps me at peace. And I, I don't know. It has to be the sound of the water. Mm, okay. First question out the gate. JR0651 wants to know, what's the prettiest beach you've ever been to? Still in my thunder. Hmm. So the prettiest beach that I have been to... Um, I would say, honestly, maybe Jamaica, Montego Bay has been, um, the prettiest. I have not been to Turks and Caicos. I have not been to Maldives yet. They're on my list, but I'm pretty sure that those two may top, um, actually looking right now to plan a trip to Fiji for my birthday in March. So I'm hoping that that water is like my number one. Yeah. You think they'll let you bring us some water back from Fiji? I don't know. I don't know. You, weirdly, I don't even like the water Fiji. That's some nasty water. What? You tripping, y'all? That's the best water out there. No, it's not. Absolutely. No. I like um, Essentia, and I like, um, I've been getting core. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I drink uh, Deer Park, but they not a sponsor, so who cares? Yeah, we don't. What's the, What was your first trip? <laughs> My very first trip to an island was the Bahamas. Um, my mother, ironically, was married to a DJ. <laughs> um, yeah, so we he did trips every year to the Bahamas. So from 12 to 18, every year I went to the Bahamas, which may have, which may have been my peak of traveling too, just... It was knowing every year I was going to an island. So it was the anticipation of going. I knew when we were going. So that may be why one of my other reasons for loving travel as well. Because of my mother. My mother, you know, put it put it there. And then I, I just started it. I started it and then I stopped for years when I had my kid. Kid turned 21 this year. And I'm just planning trips back to back to back to back. So it's on. Hold on one second. I forgot to turn my fan off. Okay. About to be hot. And I don't want that joint in my audio for the whole show when I could have just turned it off. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Sister, I have so, to look up Surface Paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to get to the comments. So so uh, Lil said, uh, what you, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back right quick. Uh, it's not in there. I don't see it. Oh, she said something about Surface Paradise, right? Yeah, you, you pinned it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why it's not there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you recommend women traveling outside the country alone? I have not done that yet. Um, I I actually have considered it, but every time I consider it, but then I mentioned going away, a friend is always like, I'll go. So I don't know. I've been curious to do it, but if if you do, I would say go to an island, get you because I have a girlfriend that, that does it often. Um, and she has the the lock that goes on the hotel door. She has two different locks. So it's one that goes up on the, the the door part. And then there's another one, like a door stop that goes at the the door bo the bottom of the door. And it make and it's an alarm. If you do, I know she always says, don't post anything on your social media before you go. Um, also don't, when you're on the island and you're walking around by yourself, always say, if, you know, if a local comes up, just say, oh, I'm headed to my friend or whatever. Never let them know that you're on your own. So I would be interested in doing it. I don't think I'll ever get to do it because I'm sure somebody's going to be like, no, I'm going. But I, I have thought about it just because I just like to travel. And at this point I work remote. So I'm like, let's pick up and go. <laughs> mm. Steph wants to know, have you ever been to Costa Rica or Cuba? I have not been to Costa Rica or Cuba. Costa Rica is definitely on my list. I thought I was going to go there for a girl's trip in October, but it got switched to Punta Cana for somebody else's 40th birthday. So Costa Rica is still, it's still on, it's, I still have time. Okay. So where have you been? Just tell us some places where you've been. 
So I've been to, like I said, Bahamas a number of times. I've been on a number of cruises. On the cruises, I've been to plenty of islands. So I've been to Montego Bay. I've been to Belize. I've been to Cozumel. I have been to um, St. Lucia off of a cruise for a day. I've been to Bermuda. That may have been my best cruise. It was my best cruise and my worst cruise. It was bad because we went through a storm. But once we got there, we were in Bermuda for three days. So um, the boat was docked and Bermuda was beautiful. But getting to Bermuda was like, ugh. It was it was it was hell. It it was a rocky ride, but once we got there, I was good. Um, I've been to Montego Bay. I've been to Cancun a couple of times, um, which is I think one of my number one cheap spots. Cause for me, I don't I want to go everywhere, but of course, money is always an object. So for me, if I can get a quick cheap trip, I'm happy. Like, I'll go to a different hotel and I'm still happy. How do we get the trips for the low? So, <laughs> I <laughs> normally keep a pad by my work desk and a pen. And I normally search Google, Expedia, Orbit. Um, I've called resorts. Um... I do a lot of it on my own. So I can say when I went to, when I did a girl's trip in Jamaica, to Jamaica in 20 and the trips, the room started at a thousand dollars. I ended up getting the, the swim up room. Cause of course this was COVID. No shame. <laughs> and, Shane said book for my YouTube audience. Her husband just said book VIP. That's what, that's why she said no shame. I'm sorry. And um and the and what I did was every day, every mainly every Tuesday, I would go on to wherever I booked the room at, because I'll book it like on Expedia where you don't have to pay anything. And then I'll rebook the room. I ended up getting that room down from a thousand dollars to six hundred dollars for a swim up room for five days. So we each only paid three hundred dollars and I think the flight was three fifty round trip. Mm. So it's it's persistent for me. I'm very persistent. Um, currently, I'm doing the same thing for my Mexico trip. I have a room book. I have a room book with a travel travel agent. But for real, because I like to look up different things, and I never have really a serious like one place in mind that I want to go, unless it's just like I want to go here. I will look up the cheapest place to go whenever I'm available to go. Just I just. Like the beer brown water, blue water, turquoise. Okay. Richie wants to know, do you use a travel agent for the Jamaica trips? Um, My first Jamaica trip, I did not. This year when I go in December, I do have a travel agent that I'm using. Hmm. Okay. I have a um, travel agent, but I also have a room book on Expedia in case my price is cheaper than hers. <laughs> so play a game. Mm. Yeah. Is it true that flights are, I mean, uh, is it true the flights are cheap on Tuesdays and Wednesdays? Tuesdays at 3 p.m. is a is a really good time to check for flights. Mm. Why is that? Do you know? I don't know. I've tested it. I've put flights on hold for, like, United, you can pay, like, $10 or whatever. It's a fee you pay to hold a price for two weeks. But on Tuesday, I'll check to see if it's cheaper and I've noticed three three o'clock so around two fifty five I'll start putting in my information to see which which cheaper. So it mm. is like that Tuesday, Wednesday and I wanna I wanna say it goes from Tuesday at three PM to Wednesdays around noon and it's cheap. Mm. Have you ever say again? I said I don't know why it's that cheap, but it is. So Okay. Have you ever thought about becoming a travel agent? Like, is that something you would consider doing since you're good at booking? I have thought about it, but I 
I'm trying to narrow down what I focus on. Like, I'll do it for friends. And I do it because I just enjoy being nosy. <laughs> um, where they going? Huh? I said, you'd be like, let me see where they going. Where they going? Yeah, let me see where they going. Let me see how much this trip may be for this date. So it it, it just depends. And I I like to do... I'm not your typical read something and go with the flow type person. If I see something, I'm that Google. Google is on standby at all times. I'm always going to Google something and figure out what it is, how it is, why is it this way. And then I'm going to go to other resources that I know and try to get a good price. I'm frugal, but I'm not frugal. So it just depends. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, mom of... 3JS. How do you hold flights for two weeks? So the only um, website that I've seen do it is through Google Flights and United.com exactly. Those are the only two that I've ever known. Um, I want to say American, you can do a three-day hold, but I know United for sure, you can hold the price. You can lock your price in for two weeks. Mm, okay. Do you like to use different different uh, airline companies, or, or, or you like to use one? I love Southwest. Southwest has been high for a couple of things lately, so I've been looking at United. I like Southwest because I I know I can more than likely guarantee a nonstop flight, um, and it's not going to be super high. But lately, Southwest has been disappointing me. <laughs> I, Why is like that? I their prices have been ridiculous for this for my trip in August that I booked. I paid maybe four thirty round trip. Right now, round trip is about eight fifty. And I only I know because I go on there. I go on there religiously every Tuesday to see if the price drop. Because if the price drop drops, I always go in and I change my flight so that I can get the credit back. So that's uh, another okay. that's another tip. You can always go in and say you're changing the flight, but you're not changing it. You're going to pick the same exact flight time, mm -hmm. but you're going to get the lower rate for the same the same flight you already booked, and they're going to put a credit on your account for you to use for your um for your next trip. Oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um have you ever flew spirit? I, I see the internet memes and the jokes about spirit with the dude with the knees all up in his chest. Have you ever flown spirit or know anything about him? I know nothing about spirit. I almost got caught up on Copa because Copa looks like United, but I read some reviews about Copa. I will never fly Copa. I don't want to say I'll never fly spirit in my spirit. I'll never fly spirit. I, it's just, <laughs> it's too much with it. It's, I heard it was so plain. <laughs> I really heard it was so plain. So I'm I'm not interested in doing that and then doing all the a la carte for my bags. It's like for the money that you save, you might as well spend the extra fifty dollars to fly on Southwest. You're going straight there, you're getting straight back. No bags lost. Like I, I haven't had an issue with spirit with Southwest, but spirit I don't see me on that plane that okay is it um i just popped just thinking about hearing you talking about the the increase in the cost of the flight do you know if that's due to the cost of fuel like i think it, i think i think it is because i want to say i booked our flight in august two weeks before the the um price hike the gas hike yeah. And ever since then it's been four hundred, like four something each way. One is four four hundred, the other is five twenty eight. I did not pay that much money. Mm. Yeah, yeah I figured, it's, it's pretty much double. Yeah, I figured the cost of flights was going up once gas shot up. Matter of fact, just the other day, you know how you kinda need gas, but you like I could ride it out. Gas was mm -hmm. like right at four dollars. And then you don't pay attention to it because you know you can make it home. And then the next day I was riding and it was like four fifty five, and I was like, "Shit, man!" Like, <laughs> they got me, young. They got me good. I should have went ahead, but I, you know, I did. It's what I so had to hard. Do. It's hard for me because I'm home. 
throughout the week. So for me, it's always a shock. Like, well, when did when did this happen? When did this happen? Or you know, it's just it's weird. So as the prices change, I really start to watch my flights that I have booked currently, so that I can get credit and so that I can use on another flight. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been somewhere? that you know for a fact you like I'll never go back I'll never go there again you mean an island well, in, it, well yeah any, uh, it could be an island it could have been somewhere in, in America for real mm. somewhere you went somewhere you went for the purpose of having a good time and you like oh nah like I'm, I'm, I'm not with this I haven't been there I have been to an island where I've been in a resort that I hated and switched resorts while there. The resort was beautiful on the pictures, but when we got there, all inclusive but not, like, we left after the second night and went somewhere else. It was, mm -hmm. like, bait all inclusive. I mean, it was, was it, like, cool. roaches and rats running around, or was it It just, wasn't it? roaches and rats. It just wasn't what I was used to. It it mm. wasn't it wasn't what I was used to, and I was like, it's almost like those places you sit, but you sitting with your back up off the seat because you don't want to, like you just feel dirty if you get too relaxed. So I was like, I can't get comfortable. Like I don't want to get in their pool, uh, I don't want to get in their shower, mm. but I gotta wash my ass. So it's like I just I wasn't comfortable. I wasn't comfortable, and he seen that I wasn't comfortable, and he he made it happen for us to go somewhere else because. That wasn't going to work for me. Mm. Not on vacation. That was like my worst experience on vacation. Like my first two days were horrible. It was just like, you know how they say you you see a place and then you take the mask off. That's what it mm. was. It was like, oh, this is what about, what's about, no, I'm good. We left. We didn't say bye. We didn't check out. We we just left. We grabbed. They, they still looking for y'all. <laughs> they probably think we got lost on the island. I don't care. Uh, we took our bags and we left and went somewhere else. I could not stay there another minute. So, mm. so when you but, go on that, was trip, that was in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Was that Cancun? It was that Cancun? It was Cancun. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so I stayed in Cancun, Costa Mujeres, and think those are the, oh and out out of my Harris. I say to those three in Cancun. I mean in Mexico. Okay, 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 cool. So the only vacation before you came on, I was saying the only vacation I've ever been on was my honeymoon. And that was to Cancun. We went to Secrets Maroma. That joint was great. We did six days, five nights. I woke up drinking. I don't really drink, you know that. Um I tried different foods and all of that good stuff, right? But say say I I came to you and I'm like I'm, I'm gonna take my first vacation. It's not a gift. I gotta spend some money on it. Where would you tell me to go? Mm. I'm gonna tell you to go where I wanna go. I'm gonna tell you to go to Turks and Caicos. Mm, okay. Have you have you been there? You been to Turks and Caicos? Okay, so mm -hmm. so you gonna send me to Turks and Caicos so I can come back and, and report to you how it was, and then you could get the super when cheap flight. Well, no, I've had a good review about Turks. My mother went for her 60th birthday. Her girlfriend took her for her 60th and, and still raves about it like she just went yesterday. Um, she said it was amazing. It was a awesome time. Like, she did not want to come back. She said the water was so blue you can see all the way to the bottom. She said it was that type of blue. Oh, that's dope. It's Lil four hours. Lil said I ain't sitting on no plane for that long. How long is the flight to Turks and Caicos? Four hours. She may be thinking about Maldives. Maldives is 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 the long flight. Turks is only um four hours. I could do four Turks hours. Turks is four. Yeah. yeah. How long is the flight to Maldives? Maldives is about twelve. You can get on the plane and go to sleep. I got get on oh, at night. I got a good neck pillow. I'll be like. I got you. Your birthday coming up. Yeah, my birthday. Yo, I'll be 40 this year, young. Yes. You getting up Man. Here. It's up been here. a long, a long oh, time God. coming, but I know change gonna come. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs>
Yes, it is. Hey, look. So when you um when you go on um, Elaine said Mal is, is that how you say it? Maldives? 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 Yeah. Maldives is on her list. Um, <laughs> when you go on these vacations, right? You know how like you 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 go to the resort and you could go do the excursions and stuff. Are you mm -hmm. a sit by the sit on the resort chill, relax kind of person, or you like? Man, I'm trying to go out, holler the locals, see what's good, ride the ATVs, have some fun. So I'm not really a go out and hang with the local type of people because I'm not like 100% trustworthy of that everything is okay. Um, I do like to go on excursions, but I like to book it with someone. You know, I don't venture off the resort too much by myself. Um okay. When I'm with my husband, I may we may venture off more than when I'm with the girls. When I'm with the girls, we tend to stay on the resort. We may take one day and do like a full day of off the resort. But for me, because I generally only book all inclusive, I want to be on the resort where I pay my money. I will venture out like when we did Jamaica, we ventured out because we wanted some authentic jerk chicken. Mm -hmm. So we did that, but as far as me just saying we about to rent a car and then we about to drive around these streets and find their hot clubs and all that, that's not me. I'm I'm more on the safe side. I want to go on vacation and I want to come back home so that I can go on another vacation and come back home and do the same thing. So that gotcha. ain't yeah, that's not me. I'm I don't trust the locals that much because they may say we're gonna go down this street here and then they're gonna take me down the street like some people do here in DC. Like, yeah, go down there and make a left and make a left, and then you in the outside with the crew. And no, nah, I wanna be safe because yeah, I wanna I wanna return because I do more travel without my husband than I do with him. So I like to return to him in one piece. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Jamaican jerk versus American Jamaican jerk. Is there that much of a difference? To me, where we had it, we had some off the side of the road. And I would say, yes, that was like really different. It's I don't know if it's their spices. Now, I've bought their spices. I still can't get it to how that was. But... Um, to me, it is. I don't think we we have it enough where I can get a feel for. Okay, mm -hmm. I had me some jerk chicken. I'm good. But over there, we I don't even eat this much in the sitting. We had three each. All four of us had like three sandwiches a piece of jerk chicken. It was jerk chicken and whatever sauce he had. We each got about three sandwiches. No joke. <laughs> That's how good they were. We didn't want to leave. Mm. Yeah. Do you um do you drink? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um do you have like a a preference? You have a preferable if that's the right word, if that's the right word. A preferable drink to drink on vacation that isn't your drink to drink at home? Um no because on the resort I tend to go for what's pretty. And then I'll always spice it up with what I'll tell them, give me whatever liquor. Like in Mexico, my drink is like a rum punch. In Jamaica, it was the Bob Marley. In DR, it was a Miami Vice. So I guess it depends on where I'm at. Where I'm at and what drink, for me, what drink looks good and then what drink tastes the best. Um, once I find a drink that tastes really good, then for me, I'll continue to get the same drink over and over again. Mm. So it's different. Okay. Even like here, like at home, I don't really have a main drink. I mean, I'm not a, I'm a social drinker. So I don't drink every day. I'm drinking today because we, I'm on the island and I'm all in the island vibes. Okay. But for the most part, I drink, um, I'll drink wine. Um, I'm a wine drinker generally at home. When I'm out, I kind of drink hard, but I don't drink too hard because I don't want to be out of my mind and not knowing where I'm at and somebody take, you know. I got you. But I got you. Whatever they do, yeah. Whatever whatever it is that happens, they get taken yeah, by well, the cartel. I don't want none of that done, no. <laughs> nah, we don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need that smoke. 
Um, we've talked a lot about, you know, the different islands and stuff like that. Um, what about places you've been in America? Have you been any places in America that you're like absolutely in love with or that you absolutely hate? I love California. Um, I wasn't there doing hurricane hurricane season, so I'm good. So that was in San Diego. I used to go there every summer um, for a month to be with my cousins. Um, that may be one of my favorite non-island chill places. This is, of course, when I was a teenager. So, of course, we did fun stuff. Um and it is actually something that I visited. It's a resort out there that I do want to go to. I want to say it's the Palms or something. I don't know, but it's really, 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 really pretty. Really pretty. Um, and from the pictures I saw, it's like a boat that takes you through the hotel. It's, it's nice. Um, but I don't know. It's it's just, you know, that, that may be one of my favorites. Um... What else? You been anywhere in Florida? Honestly, <laughs> I said this to somebody before. I was like, the first time I went to Miami was um, when I was headed out for a cruise. Okay. <laughs> so I, I didn't, I still really haven't experienced Miami. Same way I really haven't experienced Orlando other than I took my son to Disney um, but I'm with a kid, so I it wasn't but so much I could do, you know, with him. But I do. Oh, I did. I experienced Miami in November before we went out on our cruise last year. It was nice. I actually experienced a nightlife this time. The first time I went to Miami for a cruise, we didn't experience a nightlife. I was with my mother and my aunt. Um, but in November, I was with my cousin, so we went out down. Uh, what's that? South Beach Street or Collins or whatever the street is. I don't know. We went mm -hmm. to all the little clubs and they had like a drag club and we did that. That was cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. How was the drag club? Like, what was that experience like? So, it wasn't my first drag club because I've been to Nelly's here a couple of times. So, it, it was different there because they're more they were more I don't know what the word is but they were they they were a little wild oh. <laughs> yeah they were a little wild they were wild they were wild who yeah. has the most who has the most inviting locals probably definitely not Punta Cana probably Jamaica Jamaica probably okay. Jamaica yeah they what were, happened to Punta their, their language barrier is horrible there. And to me, and then this was just within, this was with mainly within our resort. And for me, being on a resort, knowing you want to encounter a bunch of different people, when I'm ordering food, you should be able to speak. You should be able to speak and understand what I'm saying. He got so pissed at me, he smacked his legs. I'm like, this is stuff that people order. I'm ordering something off your menu. I'm not asking for anything different. So that may have been my worst experience with language. And the friendliest has to be Jamaica. We met a guy there. His name was Otel. And he actually, he he worked on the resort. So we didn't just find somebody out in the street. He worked on the resort we, we were on. And that's who actually took us to, um, took us off the resort. That he was like the only person that we trusted. Like this one guy walked up to us and he was like, hey, pack your stuff. Let's go. That's how he talked to us. He was like, y'all need to get in the car. It's time to go. Because he didn't like the way the local had walked up on us. He was like, no, nah, this is when we was getting our chicken. So he was cool. Um, so I would say Jamaica. I would say Jamaica. Cancun, they, they cool. Or well, Mexico, they cool. But, you know, Jamaica was the most inviting to me. Because I guess skin color i don't know yeah well that was one, one of my questions was have you experienced any racism while you were vacationing no racism just no see because i stay on a resort i don't really have that many experiences to say of people off how they act off the resort mm -hmm. anybody on the cruise to be honest 
all of us we're we're all nice to one another we we mesh well we all get along we're all thank you and everybody's really nice on the cruises when you get off the cruises and stuff like that it's a different story but on the boat when we're all interacting with one another everyone is nice so i haven't had bad experiences on cruises or really on resorts where people are like super rude and i'm like oh i'm not coming back i'm not doing this again mm. well let's talk about cruises what 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 was your how many have you been on a lot of cruises i have <laughs> like I, are you a serial cruiser like you just be running jumping on boats and you know you know what for a cruise like so when it comes to a cruise you can get a lot for your money um all your food is it's not all inclusive but your all of your food is included for the most part you get to visit, depending on which one you get on, you can visit different islands. So it's like you can get a taste of this island. You can get a taste of this island. And then you'll be like, ooh, I had so much fun here. I'm going to book a trip to come back here to mm -hmm. stay for five or six days, you know, with whomever. So I like cruises for that. I like cruises for the variety because, you know, I do get the kind of island hop without paying all of the different money to go on the different islands. So... It's a preference. I don't really have a serious preference. I don't care where I go. On a boat, I'm getting a balcony room, so I'm going to be on the water at all times, which is what I love about vacationing. So it's like I'm still getting what I enjoy, plus I'm getting to island hop as well and look at these other different islands. So. Okay, so when you go on a cruise and, you, and you're doing the island hopping thing, right, how does the currency work? Do most of these places just they take, they accept the, the dollar or do they got their own currency? How does that work? Um, I'm, well, no, because they don't take cash app. They don't take your cash app card. You pretty much want to have cash, and when you get off the boat, you pretty much want to turn over to their currency. But that's in any island, I believe, because... You get gypped. You you can get gypped or they get gypped because I've gone probably three cruises ago. I went and we went jet skiing. Now, my mother and sister, they paid cash. Um, he charged them $85, but on my card, he only charged me $63.12 mm. because I, I guess he couldn't figure out the math. So it's like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Cause it was like I I saved me twenty dollars, I saved twenty two dollars when they had to pay eighty five dollars for the same forty five minutes. So it's it it kind of depends on where you are and if they know their um if they know what their uh cash to their their denomination is. Mm. Star Child said cash or American Express. Yeah, if you use your credit card, then you know you can dispute charges. Like I'm, I'm a card person, but I don't want to use. I don't want to get stuck with my card, and then I can't use it in certain places. Like I said, I tried to use my Cash App card one time. And they was like, "Oh, we don't take." Actually, I think it was Cash App. And this may have been when the card first came out. They didn't accept it then. I don't know if they do now. I haven't tried it. Uh, I didn't try this past cruise. I just went on in November. I I just took cash, just because mm -hmm. I was just the whole thing of the unknown and not being able to um, do something I want to do. When, you, when you're on a cruise, you only have like seven to eight hours off the boat before you got to get back on or you get left. Yeah, so I was going to ask, like, so I go on my <laughs> cruise because I don't go on vacation and, uh, and, and my, 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 my favorite sister-in-law has told me, hey, you know, um, Take this cruise, and then I'm 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 I'm, eat, I'm, I'm in Jamaica eating jerk chicken, and this, I'm drooling and all of this, and I'm like, oh man, I missed the boat. What happens? You missed the boat. <laughs> so I'm Jamaican. You better now. try to <laughs> <just> yeah, you... <laughs> <laughs> Your ass stuck now. So what you might want to try to do is is I don't know. I don't play around when it comes to the boat. <laughs> if it say the boat leaving at three o'clock, my I'm on time for that. I'm back by one thirty because I will not get left unless I'm on a unless like if you book a cruise tour, like if you want to book tours when you're on a boat, book it through the boat because they mm -hmm. won't leave if they know that they have a bustle of the people 
that have not come back yet. So I would advise that. I wouldn't advise getting off the boat, trying to rent some stuff on your own, and then going out here, getting lost or getting stuck somewhere, and then you Jamaican. And I'm Jamaican now. <laughs> Jamaican. You That's Jamaican, but you're going to be... <laughs> yeah, you will be catching a flight from wherever you are. That has wow. it's happened. It's definitely happened. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. What um do you do you enjoy road trips or like you ever been on like a long train ride or anything like that? I love road trips as long as I'm on the passenger side. Of course. Who wouldn't? As long as I don't have to drive, I'm good. I'll give you like a, I got a good hour or two and then I need to pass hour. this out. Hour, yeah. We're going to be in Richmond in an hour. Okay. Hey. I'm a good I'm a good passenger rider though. Like I don't go to sleep. I stay up. I don't go to sleep. I think that's rude. We we just had a whole conversation about this on the way back from Georgia <laughs> this weekend. Out there, like, cause he was like, "Why don't you lay back?" I'm like, "No, because I feel like it's rude. It's just you and I in the car. You up driving. It's the daytime. Like, why am I gonna sleep on you? I think that's rude." Mm -hmm. So I don't have a problem with people going to sleep, and on road trips are a little to, for me. The, the rules are a little different, right? But yeah. I will tell you one of my pet peeves. Like, let's say. I was like, hey, Crystal, I'm about to run the Wendy's right quick. You you, you want to roll with me? And he was like, yeah. So we get the Wendy's. We go through the drive through We get the food. We're 10 minutes from home. And you start eating your food while I'm driving. I hate that. I'm like, hold up, young. How, hold on. How, how I'm going to drive over here. We're going to get this food. I'm driving. So I either got to balance and eat or just sit here and watch you eat. Okay, so with that, if we're coming right home, I try not to eat. But when we're on the road, I do feed him. I'll feed him. I'll give him a bite of his burger. I'll put a couple of fries in his mouth. I'll bite my burger, put a couple of fries in my mouth. Yeah, we, we, we doing this together. We, we, we teaming. Like, I'm going to feed you. He going he gonna to bite. It's going to be weird, but he going to get it. But I'm a, I feed him while we're on the road. And at home, I might eat my fries. But I'm, see, but see, that's the thing though. Like, there's nuance to it, right? Like, you could dip in the bag and get a fry, and make sure they hot. You know what I'm saying? And all of that good stuff. But if you pull out your number two, right, with the double burger, or you dipping chicken nuggets, you over there <laughs> dipping chicken nuggets. I'm like, young, yeah, like this is this is a pet peeve. Like, this is annoying to me. Like, get a fry. Put it back in there, and we're going to all eat our semi-warm Wendy's when we get back to the crib. You don't get to have hot food, and then I get to the crib, and my joint, my fries. But I'm not fine with you then, because I need my fries. If I'm in the car, I'm eating my hot fries. All of them, though? I'm going to eat my fries, yeah. You got to eat the fries while they're hot. You can eat yours, too. Yeah, but if I'm eating mine, so, so well, and I give my wife credit. She will feed me the fries. So... I appreciate that. Joy says she has to eat her fish sandwich. Elaine said the fries are going to be cold. My point is this. I don't care what y'all say. This is my show, so it's my rules. And can't nobody eat while I'm driving. Now, we on the road. That's different. But if we end up, we round the way, you ain't about to have me with the fries tucked between my legs or over here in some cup holder, and I'm driving and, and, and trying to steer. Nah, that ain't fair, yo. You eat two fries. You got two fry max on pulling over. And we're gonna wait for your food I'm to just, get cold. We just don't need to ride together then because it's it's natural. I don't know how Uber Eats and all these people do it because I would be eating people's fries. If your smile your fries smell good, I'm eating your fries. So I I'm just not gonna do it. Are you a fry thief? Do you eat the bag fries? Yeah, they're mine. If I have how? a bag Oh, hold on, if... hold on, y'all. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so 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 first of all, so let's run this back and then we're gonna and then we're gonna move on. So I invited you to go with me to Wendy's because you wasn't going to Wendy's. Mm -mm. We get to Wendy's. We order the food. You're going to eat your food in front of me, and you're going to eat the bag fries. You can't eat them. You're driving. You don't know nothing about the bag fries, so you don't know if there were bag fries or not. There always aren't bag fries. There are always bag fries. If there aren't bag fries, they cheated you. 
There's well, always bag fries. I, I've, I've had a bag where there wasn't bag fries, but yeah, I generally eat the bag fries first. Oh, you dirty. You dirty. I just, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's a quickly. passenger perk. That's a you should be ashamed perk. of yourself. That ain't no passenger perk. That's a driver perk. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. You should be. You should be ashamed. But I'm not. Crystal sh sh shame. Sh shame. Sh shame. What? <laughs> Crystal sh shame. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself because you eat the bag fries. See, see, see. That's why I know. I'll be like, hey, I'm about to go get something. You want something? Because <laughs> you ain't, man. Whatever. Let's move on. So, Crystal, y'all, is also a chef. She's a cook. Um. I'll let her run, give you the rundown. What are some of your favorite things to cook? Now, I know we discussed cooking last time. And oh, mm -hmm. oh, let me say this. Crystal was the first person that I ever interviewed. Mm -hmm. I forgot to say that at the beginning. I yeah. absolutely apologize. Crystal was the very first person I, I interviewed. And I just came downstairs and was like, yo, I need you to, I want you to go live with me right quick. I want to interview mm -hmm. you. We had no script, no real, I had these generic questions no topic first interview ever first interview ever so i say worse <laughs> oh first worse out well I'll first go first and worse i was I in the know. kitchen remember i was i was in the middle of i was preparing for um was it the why i was i was in the middle of cooking yeah, i was cooking was, for an I mean, event but it was about cooking but I, I i love you and i appreciate you coming back oh, and, and and you know and, and coming back and doing it in a more professional type of way um, yeah. tell them about which. Tell them about Crystal's Kitchen LLC and the salmon and the crab cakes and the egg rolls and tell them about all that. So I have a small business. It is called Crystal's Kitchen. Um, on IG is Crystal's underscore Kitchen LLC. What I specialize in, um, currently is my egg rolls. My egg rolls and my crab and shrimp pies. Um, so I have an egg roll line that I am in the process of bringing out. What I do, um, actually last weekend, I actually went to Georgia to sell my egg rolls. Um, my crab and shrimp egg rolls, they love them. They ready for me to come back. Um, and what I'm doing this weekend actually is egg rolls. So I try to do it. I'm going to try to do it again once a month. Because crab meat has gone down. Um, and I stopped doing it because I wasn't the one. I didn't want to charge everybody $20. And I was not going to go to imitation crab meat. Just because I don't use imitation anything in my food. My seafood salad. Everything I use at least lump crab. So I didn't sell them for a long time. I just happened to go the other day to my supplier and I seen that my crab meat has come down. So my egg rolls are coming back. Thank you. Um, my other thing is I love anything and all seafood. So I cook a lot of seafood, a lot of stuffed salmon. Um, my newest egg roll is my stuffed salmon egg roll. Um, which I featured last weekend in Georgia. So that is a little bit, little bit background with Crystal's Kitchen. I have a lot more things that I'm in the works with right now that I don't want to speak on yet, but I have some things that are coming out where I can be able to get them to you, ship, ship them frozen. So I have a tester. Cello has agreed to be my tester of the frozen and the preserved. And using the preservative stuff so that I can get these things out. He he's agreed to this. He has the strongest stomach, and he's going to do this for the people. So we're going to test those the frozen out. I have I have ordered the bags before to use them to dry ship them, but yeah, he he we had this conversation yesterday, and he's aware that he's going to be the tester for this. I appreciate you, bro. The devil is a lie. <laughs> Um, you ain't testing the damn thing on me. You ain't. Yeah, we are. You we talked about that this. On me. You're not, well, nah, you can test. You can test some stuff, but you ain't. Nah, you ain't. First, well, you know what? You know what though? I don't really eat seafood. I will eat fish. I'm not big on. We can do stuff salmon. What's no problem? You're gonna freeze the stuffed salmon and then have me eat it. 
The whole egg roll. Oh, the egg roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the egg rolls, her egg rolls are good. Like Lil said, they bomb. They are good. So if y'all want some good egg rolls, y'all need to come holler. Don't you got something going on this weekend? Ain't you cooking? Yeah, this, you got, week like this weekend I'm selling the crab and shrimp and the stuffed salmon in Clinton. But um, you did. I thought you tasted the crab when I didn't put shrimp in it for you. You just did an all crab egg roll. Yes, you're yeah. absolutely right. Um, okay. I did. It was great. I, I liked it. Um, your egg rolls are good, too. Yeah. Um, but I when I say I don't eat seafood, like, so, so a lot of times seafood doesn't go through a process to where it changes the way it looks before and after. So, like, I'm not about to, like, be sitting here at the picnic table with y'all with the newspaper out and the crabs, and then you, like, or got, you got to, like, rip his head off, and then you got the mustard that they say really ain't really mustard, and we're all acting like this is, like, super clean and good, and I'm like, no, I think I'm going to run to Wendy's by myself so I don't have to worry about anyone else eating in front of me or stealing my bag fries. You guys enjoy your, 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 your sea... What do they call them? Your ground feeders. Seafood is the bomb. I don't care what nobody says. I will eat crabs, oysters, scallops, shrimp, crawfish, all of that. Speaking of crawfish, New Orleans has some bomb food. Really? Oh, my God. I forgot all about them. They have amazing food. You go there to eat. Mm. Yeah. You're not a burger yeah. person, are you? A burger person? Yeah. Yeah, I like burgers. Who has the best burger? Right now, outside of homemade, are you picking your chest for me? I was saying, I, you were supposed to say, well, you know, your grill burgers be real good, but uh, you just missed it. So they now are I'm going to pick somebody else. I don't really eat your burgers because I always eat the steak instead. <laughs> yeah. But if we're talking about burgers from out somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean for real, for real. I am a, geez, this is really hard because, see, I just had Foster's Grill. They were pretty good, but I, I might still say... Um, I don't, I might say Habit Grill. I'm, I think I might actually like Habit Grills better than Fry, um, Five Guys. If mm. I'm, if I'm going to pick, if I'm going to pick one and I'm picking Habit Grill, Habit Grills have been really good and their grilled onions are like, I'm a grilled onion person. So, um, Five Guys has the, the cut onions, like they're good, but I'm like a saute all them onions type of person and smother them on my burger type of, of chick. Like, and you I know, Hab I, Hab 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 does got, that. Habit got the, uh, both of them have, have good onions. Um, five guys' onions, if they give you the grilled ones, they're a little bit sweeter. They got a little bit of a more sweet type kick to them. But habits joints are caramelized. Yes. And that's like a whole nother, that's like a whole nother level. But I don't like for them to put it on the burger. I get it on the side and oh. I fork it on there and I spread it out real nice and smooth. Like Okay. See that's that caramelizes is, is a is an extra layer of flavor to the burger, which is why I picked them over five guys. Five guys burgers are good, but it's it's the onions for me. And like you said, sometimes they don't listen. And they'll give you regular onions instead of grilled onions. And for me, I need a grilled onion on my burger at all times. Mm. I am the onion person. Like I, You can just smother my burger in onions and I'm in heaven. Onions and jalapenos. You got to try my onion burgers one day. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let's, 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 let's transition a little bit. Um, how long you been married? It will be six years on the 21st. Okay. Did you just get the wrong date? No. I you said, 
Oh, okay, okay, cool, okay, cool, cool, cool. Somebody What's anniversary is today. <laughs> Say again. It's somebody else's anniversary is today. Oh, okay, okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Um, yeah, what what y'all got married in? Y'all got married in May, right? This is the twenty first. Yeah, Maybe. we did the twenty first, twenty fifth, first, and then our in laws is today. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> Okay, so what's something, what, what, what is something that you've learned about yourself since you've been married? Um, that I have to give control to my husband sometimes. All the time. This sometimes. And sometimes. We, Are you a control freak? I am. But that comes from years of being single. It was just me and my son. So to transition and have to give that over to a man after not having to give, after not having a man to have that control over me was something that took me a while to grasp. It wasn't easy because I was used to being the one that handle X, Y, Z and did, I had things a certain way and I had to realize that I had to mesh with my husband and we had to figure out how to do it together versus this is you and this is me. We had to figure it out this way. So, mm. yeah. Keisha said, nah, it's, it works, but can be done with the right one. Absolutely. Okay. What would your husband say is your best and your worst trait? I'm out. So that's the worst? Yeah, it can be. It okay. can be. It okay. can be the best and it can be the worst. <laughs> so it's the gift and the curse. It definitely is. Okay. What's the sweetest or most romantic thing you've ever done for your husband? Sheesh. Why you put me on the spot? Um. You, know, you should have <laughs> bought him a nice gift or something. What's his love language? His love language is uh... Is it gifts? Don't Shane like gifts? It is gifts. His is gifts. His is gifts. I was about to give you mine. His is gifts. So... For him, it's anything as far as getting him a Reese's, getting him Mexican food. He's really he's really easy. Um, I think the sweetest thing may have been the surprise party I gave him a couple years ago for his birthday, and I made him a homemade chocolate chip cookie cake. <laughs> um, he likes those type of things, and he likes uh, mint. So I had a girlfriend of mine make him some um, mojito she made him a chocolate Oreo mint cookie or something like that. It was a it was a mo I'm sorry, it was a mojito cupcake. Okay. Because he like he likes mojitos, so she made him some mojito cupcakes. So that was something that he wasn't expecting, and I think it was something sweet that I did. Mm, I remember the surprise party. Y'all used mm -hmm. me, had me carrying all that stuff in. Yeah. And all of that. I used you and and Ja because he took Ja. He thought he was just taking my son school shopping <laughs> and mm. when he got back home we were all there and then you know it was cute that was cute we must be thinking about two different parties it was the one at the house which oh oh no i'm talking about the other that, joint where he thought he was okay, dj at the, i forgot about that when he thought he was going dj yeah that, that one, was, one was a good one that one was a good one that one was real good because he had no idea we had him we had booked him for an event, <laughs> and he came in thinking he was DJing, but I had, we had a DJ, me and my mother-in-law and sister-in-law had all had all this stuff planned, and that was his 40th birthday. Mm. That was nice. That was, that. you right. That that was my sweetest. The, the, the it was best. dope. I messed up yeah. the interest because I had to come in. I was carrying the stuff, and everybody was like, can you move? And I'm like, well, y'all asked me to bring these speakers in. You know, like, what, what? I had to help. Yeah, like you know, but it's it's all good. Keisha wants to know what what are y'all signs, and 
well, yeah, what are your signs? I know you're, what you, a Pisces, right? I'm a Pisces, and he you is sensitive. a Leo. You sensitive. Very. <laughs> mm. Very sensitive about my ish. Don't play with me. Very. Sensitive about my art. That's what Erica Badu uh, said. I'm sensitive about my, my cooking and everything. I'm sensitive, period. Doesn't matter. Mm. How do you yeah. want the world to remember you? Um, just that, I guess, for <laughs> remember me by being the one that, that's always there when needed. Um, I believe that I am the friend that anybody can pick up the phone and call and I'm there. Um, or think of me as the person who always tries to keep the load light, if that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Trying to do okay. whatever I can to help someone out in the in a sense. Got you. Uh one more question on traveling. All of the places that you mentioned are warm weather places. Are there any cold weather places that you that you really want to visit? Absolutely not. You don't want to go to Antarctica? I don't I don't. I I do not like the cold. Only thing I like cold is my Chick-fil-A ice. That's it. I don't I'm not a I'm not a cold person at all. I don't like mm -hmm. nothing cold. I like to look at it like it's beautiful, but as far as going and like a visit and like a stay and like I might got to leave out the room. Nah. I'm good. I kind of want to go somewhere cold like up in the mountains. Mhm. Mm even as much as I like, I like the snow tube. But even when I snow tube, it's like, okay, I'm a snow tube twice. Let's go inside, get some hot chocolate. Like, I'm not a cold weather person at all. Like, I'll do it. But mm -hmm. to stay over a course of a few days, I won't. Mm -hmm. I, I got a couple hours tops, and that's it. I kind of won't go to Antarctica. Okay, well, you go take pictures, and then let me know how it was, because... See, that's one of the places, like, I'll visit it on the cruise ship, on a balcony, and I can look out and see, but I'm going to explore everything on a boat. Like, I'm I'm just not a cold person. Like, I don't desire to be around anything cold other than what I said before, my, my Chick-fil-A ice, and that's pretty much it. No, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's all I got for you. I appreciate you sitting down with me. You got, any, you got any questions for me? I don't need your top five. Did you give me a top five last time? I did. Okay, so I won't harass you about that. You got any questions for me before we sign off? Um, so with you turning 40 this year, um, I feel like when I turned 40, I had a whole lot of things in my head that was like uh, on my bucket list, things, things that I wanted to do. What, what is something that you want to do either before you're 40 or within your first year of 40 before you turn 41. You mean in terms of like a, like a celebration type thing or you mean like goal? No, like, like go, like go, any goal. Well, because we're talking about travel, let's, let's go on to travel because I feel, I feel you, I feel you look like you want a vacation. So what, what is, what is on your to-do list? Yes. It's all in the, yes. Gotta get you some. I don't have, I don't have any vacations planned because I'm turning 40. Okay. Um, if I were going to go somewhere and I could go anywhere, mm -hmm. I've seen some pictures of like Sweden and okay. Norway that are absolutely like breathtaking. So they would probably be at the top of my list. Okay. Um, in terms of goals, so I have a I have a two year goal of being able to generate enough income from doing this and everything that stems from this mm -hmm. to the point where if I wanted to, I could leave my job. Okay. I don't want to put a number on it yet because I haven't really sat down and I haven't figured out enough of it yet to put a, a number on it, but that's my goal for my early 40s. On the day that I turn 40, 
I don't really care to do big stuff on my birthday. So okay. if it's warm enough, I'll cook on the grill and then maybe go for a walk. Okay. That's okay with you? Man, it's your 40th, not mine. I've been there, done that. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming on. You're welcome. Again. This is much better. I'm calm. I'm sitting. I'm not <laughs> moving around in the kitchen. Yeah, you was moving around last time, but it's yeah. all good. We uh we we uh what you say? Well, Patty's canceled, y'all. What's Patty's? Party's canceled. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'll take a surprise party, you know what I'm saying? What y'all should do, what would be dope. I'm gonna plan my surprise party. This is what I'm I'm gonna hold on. Y'all getting the exclusive right here. I'm gonna plan my own surprise party. I'm gonna act surprised when I walk in. Y'all gotta get everybody associated with what's up with you to come to my party. And if they can't come, they gotta show up virtually. And Slip Guy be there, too. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be at Infuse, November the 6th, on Allentown Road. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know about that, but okay. But, yeah, so that's it. That's it. That's all. I appreciate you. I love you. I holler at you. Be good. Be safe. Peace.